Another season is in the books. Uh, how do you feel? I mean, a few kids came out here, did pretty well. What do you think? It was a good season. I'm super proud of them. Um, they improved a ton. Um, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of them. So. And seeing them out here at that final meet, putting it all together, what was that like for you as a coach when you, you go through these technique kind of drills and, and you talk about chaining you know, actions together? I mean, what was it like seeing them put it all together? It was good. Um, I saw a lot of improvements today. Um, there, I think a couple of them that stick out in my mind are some of our, ooh, I think they're 910 girls. They've been working hard all year on breaststroke. Um, and I've gotten disqualified a couple of times, so they didn't actually get times or ribbons or anything when they were swimming it. And today they swim it all perfect and didn't get DQ'd, so. And uh, how do you feel about the season overall? I mean, you guys got to jam a lot into a little amount of time. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's that process like for you? Um, really, honestly, now I have it down pat. So um, <laughs> I've been helping with the team for a long time and um, it kind of just runs like clockwork now. So um, I know what to do. The girls are back here messing around behind me. Um, no, you're good. But they, um, I like the pace of it. It makes it fun, makes it interesting. So. And what was this year like? I mean, last year you couldn't swim because of the pool. The year before, it was really limited for uh, because of COVID. What was it like finally getting out and having a normal year again? It, it was nice. I, I loved having the pool, brand new pool. It was amazing to have this this year. Um, the wait was definitely worth it because the pool we had prior to this um, made swimming it's really hard for us. Um, I couldn't be more happy with it. I'm super thankful for the city and everything that they did to um, help get us to this place. Um, I remember the bonds started happening when I was, oh, I don't know, probably middle school age. Um, but I have loved coaching here. I've loved coaching at this new pool, having a facility that's um, actually built for swim meets and swimming. Um, so it's been a long time coming, but I'm super glad to be back here and able to coach here. And one more question. Uh... This program seems to keep growing year and year and year. <laughs> I mean, year after year. Uh, what do you think about uh, the future of this program? It just seems like there's there's so much uh, of a foundation here that it just seems like it's just going to keep growing as the years progress. What do you think? Um, I always hope it keeps growing. Um, it This year, compared to where we were at maybe three, four years ago, was slightly smaller. Um, not a ton, but that's kind of expected when you have two years off. Um, but yeah, I hope it just keeps growing. I hope we can keep um, some of our older kids as we go. In the past, we've lost them once they get to high school. So I'm hoping that we can maybe kind of hang on to them throughout high school, even if it's just a, they swim every now and then when they can. Um, yeah, we need those high schoolers. They help a ton. Um, but the younger kids, their age group is just booming right now. We have so many of them. And one more question about the high school. This is my interview to me or to your older uh swimmers you know the thing that came up was natalie gar zoe foreman there are some very strong athletes that mm -hmm. come out of this program i mean what's it do uh, as far as enhancing athleticism within girls because i mean the proof's in the pudding you know mm -hmm. um really swimming is one of the best sports that you can do to help you become an all-around athlete um i mean think about it your body you are using every single muscle in your body when you're swimming um it's you the amount of muscles you use swimming compared to other sports is just, it's ridiculous. Um, it's also the endurance aspect of it um, and being able to hold your breath, um, control your breath is a huge thing for a lot of sports. Um, and you have to do that in here. If you don't do it in here, you're not gonna survive. Yeah. So um, swimming is a great foundational sport for people to do. All right. Well, no, that's all I got. Hey, I appreciate your time. Thank you. Your names and how I supposed to start with you? Uh, Lexi Robinson, uh, L E X I, uh, R O B I N S O N. And you, ma'am? Uh, Emmy Dodd, E N N E D O D D. And what was it? The season's over. Of course, you guys are kind of the big team there. Didn't you guys uh, get third in the last one? Is that right? Or? <laughs> I cannot remember. But, uh, uh, but, I mean, how do you feel about the season? It's so quick, it's so fast, and you guys put so many hours into it. I mean, what's it like to wrap it up tonight? It's kind of fun, and the kids had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun coaching on this season. And what was it like? Uh, what, I'm sorry, what did you think? Um, it was a little tough at first, um, dividing the kids into their sections, but once we got them all divided, they really started to pick it up, and 
learn. I was about to say, when you were going down, it seems like you guys were kind of going down a checklist of mental mm-hmm. preparation. Kind of, what were you working with uh, with the kids, especially in this last meet? Um, we were trying to start with their dives because some of them can't really dive very well. They still can't, but it's still fun to watch them. And then their backstroke starts. We really got them to do that, and it really turned out pretty well with those. And uh, how, how, what did you think about seeing the kids kind of put it all together in this last meet? It was really exciting seeing the ones that maybe had a little bit more trouble um, really just go out there and have fun. And, uh, as far as your own performances, you know, you guys get, get to keep seeing your times kind of climb down and down and down. How do you think uh, you guys made progress in just this little amount of time? I feel like I made a little progress because the kids kind of motivated both of us for swimming faster because they were watching, so you kind of had to impress them a little bit. Yeah, um, coming back from the two years, it was difficult at first, but um, it was fun with the kids. You know, final question for you guys, which is, you know, there's some high caliber athletes that come out of the Cameron Swim Team. There's Zoe Foreman, uh, Natalie Gar was a swimmer. Of course, Bailey got in there a little. Uh, you know, what's it like to kind of, what do you think makes swimming transition to make you a better athlete overall? It just seems like you just keep seeing this pattern with Cameron athletes. What do you guys think? Well, during the summer, there's not a lot of sports, so this kind of keeps us all in condition. And weights doesn't do the same for the girls because they're like for football workouts, mm-hmm. just not for us. And what do you think? Um, it really helps with me cross country. Um, it helps keep me in shape, but yeah, it's a lot of fun. No! Now, are you guys in eighth grade, the freshman? Oh, we're both. Oh, the eighth grade. So you got one more year until it's real. All right. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much.